Hi hey everyone, how are you doing? It's alright. So, have you just got over the England getting knocked out of the World Cup last night? Uh, disappointing, of course, but life goes on. We've got to now start focus on Newcastle and we've got two official news to bring you. I'm sure you've seen it already that Mikel Marino has left the club and Kennedy has joined. So, we'll begin with Mikel Marino, first of all. Uh, this was done uh, about an hour ago. Um, my voice, if you're wondering what my voice is hurting, basically this is the best it's been all day. I've been on ice cream all day to soothe it. So I'm actually really unwell. So I've just got out of bed to do this vid. Going back to bed in a sec. Right, so enough of me twisting. Uh, so Mikel Marino uh, has officially joined Real Sociedad. There was speculation for a good month about whether he would leave or not. And the club have announced it on the official website, turned around and said, Mikel Marino has completed a permanent move to La Liga side Real Sociedad. The 22-year-old leaves St. James's Park for undisclosed fee, having made 24 league appearances for the Magpies, scoring once in a 1-0 victory over Crystal Palace. And a few more words were said, but I'm not going to go into full details of that. Now, for me, Marino, you know when Shelby got his ban... Marino looked like, wow, who's this player? This look, he looks quality. And we only initially had him on loan then, and then we made it official by signing him. But Marino wanted a release clause, and his agent wanted a release clause in there. If he doesn't play enough games, he can leave for a fee, and that has seems to be the case. Now, Marino obviously lost his place when Diarmi and Shelby partnership blossomed from Christmas onwards, and he couldn't get in the side. I think he only only played. Something like 80 minutes for the rest of the season. Now, you might say, okay, a player's not playing, he's unhappy, he's got every right to move. But some other people would say, and I'm with this side, is that he's got a weak mentality for me. You know, he's been in Bruce Dortmund for one year, couldn't get him, couldn't get in the team, moves. Comes to Newcastle for one year, couldn't get in the team and moves again. Shows you a little bit of a pattern here for me. Now, he's a quality player, don't get me wrong, and I, w I would have liked to keep him. I'm not going to lie and sit here and say, no, good riddance to him, I'm not. I think, you know, we've missed a trick here and I think we've, we've, we've sold a player out of our hands because he's got a release clause. And I think, you know, if you take Diarmi and Shelby out, you've got Ki Sung Young, yes, and Isaac Hayden. Are, they, are those two the answer if we've got a problem in midfield? No, I still think that position probably needs strengthened. I don't think it's the, the priority. No, I think the striker is. Um... But it is, I think it's disappointing that Marino's gone. Because I would have liked to see him stick at it and get get down to nitty gritty. You know, we've seen him on his uh, social media, he's been in New York and Ibiza. And he's joined Real Sociedad, fair enough, and the deal's been done. But good luck to him. Um, gotten out against it, I just think he's got a bit of a weak mentality, that's all. So good luck to Marino. Now, on to some more positive news, is that we've now signed Kennedy. We knew this was going to happen, it was just basically a question of when to be honest with you, and it's been taking a couple of days to get there, a couple of people were worried about it, and you know, I think it's because, I think the tune were just waiting to get the England game out of the way first, so it's official this morning that Kennedy has joined us for a season long loan, we'll get a couple of quotes what he said, Kennedy turned around and said, I'm, ha I'm so happy with this interest from Rafa Benitez that he's came back for me, I want to keep it going, the work that he did here before for the new season. I've received many, many messages on social media from, from the fans. They made me feel appreciated. So I wanted to come here for this new season and give everything on the pitch. So some nice words what Kennedy said. This is what Rafa said. I'm really pleased to have Kennedy back with us. I'm sure every fan will be happy with the signing. Hopefully he can keep playing at the same level that he reached with us last season. And I wish him all the best for his time here. So it's great news. Let's, let's not kid ourselves. He was brilliant when he came in. You know, I remember the Burnley game in midweek. Freezing cold, he hit the post, he was just he just lit the place alive. I know we drew the game, but he he was brilliant that night and obviously scored a double against Southampton Man in the match performance. He he just seems so comfortable on the ball. And he, he just he, his awareness around him, like you can do three sixty turns and you can spin, he can move, and I generally feel like he can also be used as a number ten as well. I know he's predominantly on the left and left wing back, and it gives us thought of, uh, food for thought if Rafa wants to switch it up. Maybe he wants to play a four at the back or three at the back with a wing back system. Kennedy can suit that whether he plays on left midfield or left wing back. It gives us options, but I generally think he could do a job at number ten as well. I think it's good. You know, we needed that winger because Christian Atsu, Jacob Murphy, and Matt Ritchie for me and Rolanda Aaron's, that's not strong enough. 
And there is talk that there's still this talk that we're going in for Andrews Townsend. Matt Ritchie could be leaving. We'll have to see how that develops. But who knows on that. There's speculation about that. But delighted that Kennedy's here. And he's now over in Ireland. The lads have gone over Ireland. They went over yesterday. Obviously, we play against St. Pat's next Tuesday. We'll be bringing you, obviously, a news on that as well. And obviously, news over in Ireland of what the squad are being up to on that. Because more of a bonding session as well as a training session too. So he's out over there training well sporting his new hair look, hairdo. But yeah, it's fantastic news, it is, it really is. Even if it's just a loan, fair enough. It's it's a quality, quality signing. And he is one of the best players in the squad. Just goes to show you, you can't even get in the Chelsea side. And that shows you how far Newcastle are away. For us to finish 10th last season was absolutely incredible. Still like to say there's some money spent. We need a striker, 100%. We need a striker, we need to spend big and get some goals in there. I think Alessandro play is on the verge of joining Borussia Munch and Gladbach. So I don't think that's going to happen. But, you know, we've barely spent any money. We've spent, what, four to five million so far on three signings. So, well, Kennedy's probably cost about two, three million, I reckon. So it's probably five, six, seven, eight million. But, yeah, fantastic news about Kennedy. Disappointed about Mick Reno. I would like to see him stick at it. But let us know what you think. I'm replying to you. I'm replying to you as all in my bed because I'm going to go head back to bed, probably have a nap because I'm not feeling great. I'll try my best on my video for this. But let us know what you think. See you later. Bye-bye.